it's already shiny almost all the way around so where it's shiny and ground down to new metal is where it's touching and I can see here that it's still dark I don't know if you can see that yeah see where it's not shiny so I'm pretty I'm pretty amazed it did a lot with just a few swirls with the screwdriver that is the coarse grit I'll finish off with the fine so on these other two I used the drill and you can see how shiny it is all the way around on the valve so it has a completely new face right here but it's still not quite right on the head itself alright the right half is shiny left half is not it's still very pitted so we need to go a little bit more Okay, so I've just paused for a time of examination and inflection. And these larger valves are the air intake valves. And I can tell that the cutting is working because it's fresh gray all around. And also I can see a little bit of a lip forming down here. Let's see, see that right there? That little lip. So that part is seated in the space so low that it's not touching any of the grinding compound. So that means I've, I've cut, I've cut in. And uh, you have to be careful. You don't want to go too deep because it basically causes your valve to sit further back. You see, you're removing material here and you're removing material here. So your valve ends up going back further in just a hair which makes it stick out the back a little more which makes the spring a little bit weaker I guess the the spring and keeper that hold this in on the back side so so 
so you basically instead of having this sit right here it sits like that not that extreme of course so I don't know how much it's gonna matter in this case this is not super precise even though it should be but it's a 1976 tractor that I just need to run so that I can cut the grass I'm not in a high performance race or anything and this is already so bad and pitted you know uh, I'm just I'm losing compression basically uh, because this has lost space I'm gonna try to sand the head even more to maybe get some of that compression back I saw a comment in another video someone said when they were younger they had mopeds and mini bikes or something and they would shave the heads even though there was not a problem and grind them down just a hair to basically make this go closer to the pistons so when the piston came up it was squeezing the same amount of air in a slightly smaller space so the person claimed that it increased <laughs> increased horsepower just a little bit so I think I'm gonna give this another sanding I got some more good sandpaper and I'll sand this down again to sort of do that same idea a little bit um, okay so this one you can see fresh gray all around it same for this side's air intake now I'm keeping them on this side to know that it goes on this side now the two exhaust valves are not as as good let's see Let me get the flashlight out so I can still see some corrosion so see there fresh gray on the left side but it's still pitted and old metal looking on on the right hand side it's hard for you to pick that up but there that's a little better see the pitting right there on the edge where it should be nice and clean it's not same on this one see all that pitting action right there that's not good that means the grinding hasn't even touched that surface yet but yet on this side look at that fresh gray so these two are going to need some more I did this one with coarse and fine but after examining it I'm going to have to go back with the coarse again the other problem is the cracks right there see where the where the block actually cracked from here to here that's why I welded it well the crack went straight across the ceiling surface between the valve seat and the valve and that ain't good so I will be losing compression there every time the piston comes up and both of these valves are closed it's trying to tightly squish the air in diesel uh, well maybe it's just air in this one yeah probably just air at that moment and some of it is going to leak out of these cracks unfortunately past the valve just a tiny bit hopefully not enough to make it not run but another reason why I want to shave the head down a little more than necessary to sort of you know steal back some of that compression loss so what do I need to do now course on here course on here fine on these two and then it should be done and, oh, and then sand this some more and then I can put it all back together bought some higher quality sandpaper glued it to my piece of countertop and ready to go uh, maybe 120 yeah 120 I want to sand the head a little bit more since I'm done with the valves A little bit better. Let's 
clean it up and then put the water pump on. and smoothed out the welds a little bit more too and I just in general just went around and cleaned all of this up a little bit with the little stone tip bit on the on my little um I say Dremel rotary tool it's a good one too I'm quite impressed with that little tip it's smaller than it was when I it's smaller than it was when I first started but it's pretty impressive it comes from Northern Tool, I think. It's nice. All right, let's clean this up and see if we have contact all the way around or at least really close to it. Oh man, that is really, really close. Still a little bit rough right here, but I'm seeing some new gray it's dark right there, but new gray, new gray, new gray everywhere else. I'm just going to have to live with that. It was it was bad. It just was not getting smaller. The bad area was just staying the same size, like from here to here, about one-third of the seal. So I just did it some more for about 20 more minutes. <sighs> All right, I think now... We can put the water pump on and get this thing back over to the tractor engine. Both surfaces have been cleaned well with a razor blade here and here. Let the gasket maker sit for a few minutes to thicken up. 